In my Axis Level 1 and Level 2 training videos, we already went over how to properly construct and design a database. However, if you get a new job at a company where the original architect of the database did a poor job designing it, well here, we have what's called the normalization standard. Now, we already lightly touched on what normalization is in Level 1, but again, it's breaking down a table of data into its smallest, most meaningful parts or fields. So, for example, the process to help you restructure correctly a poorly designed database is a three-phase process. You have what's called the first normal form, second normal form, and third normal form. For example, the first normal form is to design or break down an unnormalized table where the value in each cell matches its field name. So, for example, over here we have the table. Does the value here, employee ID, match the field name, employee ID? Of course. Does the last name value match the field's name, name? No. First name, name? No. So we come over here and we break it down and say that the last name has the last name field name, the first name has the first name field name, and that's how we properly break that down and normalize it by making sure the value in each cell matches its field's name. So, again, last to last, first to first. Next, after you finish the first normal form, we have the second, and that's used to establish functional dependency after conforming, again, of course, to the first normal form, what we just covered. So what you want to do is you want to move any fields to another table that are not, quote, fully dependent upon the primary key. So we have a table here. We have the employee ID, the project code, and the hours, because those are all dependent upon the employee ID. Well, so is the department, but you notice the theme here where you have the project that you're working on It's 40 hours. That can be broken down into a table all on its own, where the department can be dependent upon the employee ID, but that can be in a table on its own as well. So again, making sure that any field that's not, quote, fully dependent upon the primary key, you want to break it down, or to put another way where you have the majority of fields that seem to have a common theme dependent upon the primary key, like the project and the hours worked on the project, put that in a separate table, and then anything else, like the department, in another table. Finally, the third normal form is used to establish a non-transitive dependency in a table. Again, after, of course, satisfying your first and second normal forms, and in that order. So what you want to do here is you want to ensure that a non-key field doesn't depend upon another non-key field in the same table. And if so, it's moved out. So for example, we have here this table where we have the department and the department head. Now the department head is totally dependent upon the department here. Because being a department head means nothing if you don't know the department, so it's fully dependent upon the department here knowing what they're the head of. So what we do is we say, okay, let's break down and just say the employee ID is assigned to a department. So you have employee 1, 2, 3, 4, and all the different departments. And then we'll have over in another table who is the head of those departments with, you know, listing the departments here as the primary key. And then the department heads, you know, employee 2, 3, 4, and 5, and so on. Now, again, the whole purpose of the three-phase normal form process is to help you straighten out a database that was created by a less knowledgeable user. To help you with this, you want to watch the next training video on the Table Analyzer Wizard. It can help you actually break down one table at a time, as you see here, into many different tables, if it needs to be broken down. In other words, if it's not normalized correctly, Access will help you figure that out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.